Commander, I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, damn it. It's yours now. <laughs> I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Hey Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hack its orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think she's aware of that. <sighs> no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant. Which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Oh. Good evening, ladies and 
gentlemen, tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know. I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Precision motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. Morning. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Oh my god. Open the door! Staff Analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice.
are a little dicey. Having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is just over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Control panel, right. Word is, you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A damn shame. Great food there. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Hold on. Hi there. Uh, could you open this up? Much appreciated. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Uh, just butting heads with the 
council over Krogan expansion. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? I didn't recognize those mercs. Heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we figure this out, it's a big risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you. They said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway. Mr. Bis... Uh, my program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay, let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Well, I was looking at that pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Let me see it. I might be able to help. Glyph. I'll begin collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara. Shepard. I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. All right, the hour's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? 
Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? Back there in my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. Observation Lounge needs a hot tub. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not... So much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. It won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, Art. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever opened fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. 
This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast fair and leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Looking good, Shepard. I did the best I could without a carapace or a crest. Your best has my mandible on the floor. Damn! You know, I shaved my legs for this. Oh, and I even could see that over where I got shot. Just smile and wave, Brooks. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Garrus. Time to meet the riffraff. No, seriously. Have you ever tried to chase an ambulance in a sky car? Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? Commander, have a drink. I think I once heard a rumor that you were leaving the Citadel. I did leave. Some so-called journalists made up stories about me. Because of their venom, I retired to a little colony in the Salian Nebula. Why come back? Because I knew people here, and they needed comforting. And because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera. Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. You know, I heard you were an engineer. Easy to forget with all the, uh, shooting. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. Said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self delete after a few seconds. Got it. The splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. This could take a while. Enjoying the party? Young people party. I drink. Tonight it's ring call on the road. That stuff can put you down for the count. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. 
Now, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. I don't think I introduced myself. Uh, Jonah Ashland of Eldfell Ashland Energy? Shepard. Pretty fancy night out for someone worried about his financial future. It was my daughter Aisha's idea. She's got a good heart, though. She's going through a little self-absorbed stage. You make it sound like she's trouble. My love for her is unlimited. She just gives me a lot of opportunities to prove it. But I'm pretty sure she can change. You don't bet against something like that. Not even here. Look at them all down there. Twenty years ago, you'd have never seen a shindig like this. Humans and Turians together like it's nothing. Council species all concerned about the fate of Batarians. Everybody trying to have sex with the Asari. That's not new. Just seeing if you were awake. So, all these species in one room. Yes, nobody's afraid of each other anymore. If we win this thing, the galaxy's going to be a pretty great place. I'll drink to that. Excuse me, I think I saw someone doing drugs in the ladies' room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, ma'am. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. I'm debating whether I should report you to security. Oh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug if I got you thrown out of here? Possibly. I'd like to see you explain my wicked motives right after you explain why you have a radio in your ear. Well, since I don't see you turning me in either, I gather you're no friend of Khan's. Khan doesn't have friends. Anyone who says otherwise is deluding themselves. So, is Khan part of your game tonight? No, I simply sheer... No. What do humans call it? I fleece his guests. Then there's no harm in telling me what his weaknesses are. I've studied him. He's ruthless and rich, but not very bright. Temperamental. Doesn't deal well with the unexpected. He's also used to letting other people handle things he doesn't understand. Like his security. That's quite an assessment. Do I owe you anything? No. We do what we do because there are wrongs that need righting. The wrongs I address are simply pettier than yours. Then I guess we know where we stand, Mr. Korn. Enjoy the evening, Commander. Um... Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions to take down the sensors. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. I'll give this attention. You say when. 
I think I spotted a man in the poker games with a card fabricator. I think I did it. Testing the obstruction detector. I think we're okay. Follow the red wiring. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not attention. to call. You say when. Ah, ah, a human. Perfect. I'm kind of on the outs with my human girlfriend. Could you give me some insights? Sir, I am definitely not an expert. I'm at the storage room crate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Awesome. Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you a security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. Okay, so now I think you just need to get to me. I'm on the other side of the security gate. Wreck, have you bypassed the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. Nice gains wins! I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky, just so you know. Have a little faith. I'll get his attention. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your side. Yes, sir. It is. You have a good night now. Con, you and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? And here I had this bad cop routine all planned. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash talked to me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Well, unless you were the host. Didn't end so well for him. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Mm. <laughs> 
Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, you'd think a pad like this would be stocked. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? I hope Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. At least you didn't come away empty-handed. To borrow a phrase from Vega, you looked smoking in that dress, Shepard. You got some looks. So did I, though the ones directed at me said, how did a Turian like that get a girl like her? And the I know. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date? <laughs> Too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. I think we've got something, Commander. I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those mercs who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where's hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah. But, uh, who gets to take point with you? Ahem. 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 Who's going to pay the bill? What's the best way into the archives? The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. But don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with us. Sorry. I heard that. 
The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! This again. So this won't end well for her. You bitch. All right. <laughs> Whatever you think you're getting away with. There's nowhere you can run. Nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Huh? So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me. I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why try to kill us? Because I don't have her memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Garrus Vagarian. You're nothing more than a burnt-out cop past his prime. And you're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing. Perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe your Shepard. They will when I'm flying her ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm sending the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today.
the other you go? She's pushing into the archives. Stay in your group. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. Huh. Big place. Shepard, what do you think your clone is looking for in here? At this point, anything's possible. You mean like strolling along and bumping into your clone? I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not till we've all had a stiff drink. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Glyph? Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? She looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Why shoot something once, when you can shoot it 46 more times? The... other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure, and we'll try to surround her. Let's move. Year 2157 CE. First contact war. Turian interrogation. Vault T-91. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shang-Chi. A human. You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. Thousands of years. I just wonder what the other 
Me is looking for in here. Pushing ahead. These are the last of the AIs on the Citadel. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the Council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go. So do not terminate us. Go. Year 2183 CE. Battle of the Citadel. Get Dreadnought attack. Vault X5. In the opening minutes of the attack, you'll see that Zakara Ward is almost completely destroyed. Interrupting. Spectre status recognized. Commander Shepard. The following information is classified. The unknown aggressor is suspected to be a Reaper aided in its attack on the Citadel by rogue Spectre Sarah. The Reaper Sovereign is destroyed by the Fifth Fleet. Searching for a secret vault. She did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought she was you. Go find her again. Stupid machine. Atlas on the walkway! Try to help out your friends and you end up in a mech fight. You're welcome, Team Mako. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Love watching those things explode. Commander, a large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 347B. Fascinating.
Again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now if that's okay with everyone. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. Year 710 CE, Krogan Genophage. Deployment, Vault T-101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tavis, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Hout, restrain them both. I'll press the button myself. One day, Solarian, you will thank us. Dispersal. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? There's Team Mako. We'll try to clear a path, Commander. How many have gone ahead? Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? We're under. Mako, where are you? Inspector Deliberations, Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's her background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Mindwar. At 16, she survived a slaver attack that killed almost everyone on the colony, including her family. She enlisted with the Alliance a few years later. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Many in the Alliance consider Shepard a war hero. On Elysium, for example. Shepard single-handedly repelled an attack and saved the entire squad. Thank you for your presentation and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. Commander, do you copy? What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut her off. But I've been hit and need help. Please hurry. Can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? I'm not seeing one. Cortez! Brooks! Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. <laughs> the longer answer involves your friends trapped in iridium vaults and forgotten for... well, forever. Others know about this, about you.
The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear, if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are, forced to contain the situation. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. Your Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He's indoctrinated, whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justica, the Turian. Nice to have finally met you, Archangel. Charmed. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke her up. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount her head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both your heads and space them out the airlock. Not before I ground their skulls to dust. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda, I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human specter, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard, human specter. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, uh... I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? She said I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Crazy thought, but maybe we should be worrying about this impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. How come nobody told me about this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. Probably not a lot of air in here either. An hour, if we're lucky. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. 
Shepard, please, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship, not even me. Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. What? I wanted to go. I hear ya. Never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you, I promise. why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. If they get the Normandy, we can still contact the Alliance directly, right? You can prove you're the real Shepard. <sighs> no, she hacked the biometric logs. Any scan we try will show her as the real Shepard. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? One way or another, we are taking this bitch down. Damn right. You go kill the crap out of you. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. I was really hoping we get to shoot something. The engines are coming online. They're prepping the Normandy for takeoff. You, you fired me! Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming! You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. That's a Cision Pro Mark IV. It uses mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember because I'm the real Shepard. And someone just threw me off the ship! If it wasn't you... A, a clone. Honestly, when you serve on the Normandy long enough, you get used to things like this. I could explain more later. For now... <clears throat> it's sealed. The engines are online. They're about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay, you know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? From this side, a very precise mass effect field, maybe. 
If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. this way. Wouldn't you rather take her down yourself? Armory, find her. Slow her down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. Hey, Shepard. Reimburse Trainer for her toothbrush. Later. Remind me later. What do they size this place for, Keepers? Quiet. And risk them hearing us up top. Sorry. All right, get a patrol going. Find Shepard. The real one. Hey, what you mean by slow her down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? She said, slow her down, because she thinks we're cannon fodder. Oh, well, shit. Watch out, there you go. I need you to lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie, do you copy? She's offline. They must have disabled her. Let's get to the cargo bay. Please send this to an animal shelter for proper disposal as a warship is not an appropriate... Oh, oh, oh. that is not okay. She messed with my hamster, guys. Now it's personal. Guys, were you gonna say something or... No, no, I get it. Hard to even find the words. Should we check on my fish? Because if she's getting rid of all the pets... We should probably deal with her first, huh? All right. Sit tight, little guy. Anybody gives you trouble, go for the eye. So, anyone want to talk about their people's history? Kila, not even a little bit. So I'm the only one who misses when we used to chat in the elevators back on the Citadel? Yes, because you're terrible. So disappointed. Well, that's creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it?
How's that big plan looking now? <laughs> Hatchet squad to the shuffle deck. That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky. You so damn special. Why you and not me? Hang on. We got you. <sighs> Thanks. What about her? Here, take my hand. Then, and then you live. For what?
Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give him some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya. I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So, serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more someday. You know. No. We won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape. Come back for revenge. Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for her life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> Then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, she wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. I'm sorry we didn't shoot her. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Worst short leave ever. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> 